In this video, we are excited to share a Calliope game about sending trains off the station and making sure that they carry the most efficient load using multi-digit multiplication. So let's find out how to play Station Master. I'm Leanne and I want to inspire families to learn through games and have fun while the kids learn something along the way. So if this is something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. In Station Master, players play cards to attach the most appropriate rail cars to locomotives and load passengers on available trains in the most efficient manner. Let's set up the game and I will show you what comes in the box. Here are the 13 locomotive cards, the engines that pull the train. And let's set this game up for two players. In which case, the rule book says to lay out three locomotives. There are also 93 station master cards. These are the carriages that form the train. There are actionable station master cards as well. Since I'm going to show you how we set up for the most basic variation that I've played to introduce this game to our seven-year-old, we will put this set aside for now. I'll explain later why and when we introduce them. Each player will get three Station Master cards in their hand, which they will replenish at the end of their turn. There are six pawns of each colour, six colours for six players. Lastly, there are six depot cards, one for each player. But again, because I'm doing a basic variation, I'm going to put these aside. One of our bucket list items that we have crossed out is traveling halfway across the globe on rail from Hong Kong to St. Petersburg. So this sort of game is really right up our alley. If train travel is something that you enjoy and are interested in, you will definitely enjoy this game as well. But of course, I'm recommending this game especially for the middle to upper elementary aged players who need some double digit multiplication. Let's start playing. You'll see on the top left of the locomotive cards, a number. This is a multi-purpose number which shows how many passenger tokens as well as the number of rail cars the engine can pull. On a player's turn, they may place one passenger token face down on a locomotive or add one carriage to the end of the train. And as soon as the train has the correct number of rail cars equal to the number on the locomotive card, it immediately leaves the station and it can now be scored for all players. Let's see how to score this train using double digit multiplication. The first factor we determine is the value of the train. That is the sum of all the values on the top left of the carriage. This train's value is 2, add 4, subtract 2, add 5, add 6, add 3, and gives a total of 18. The second factor that we have to determine is then the passenger value for each player. The book player has a total of 3 and 2 2s, which make 7, and add one more to get 8. His efficiency point is 18 multiplied by 8, which is 144. Perfume player has a total of three passengers, so her efficiency points will be 18 multiplied by three, which gives 54. Then we'll put these cards away and draw a new locomotive to begin another train. We keep playing like this until the last train has left the station. Then we add up everyone's efficiency score and the highest player wins the game. The depth that Station Master carries with it is obviously the math. There are 13 locomotive cards, plenty of multiplication practice. I also want to point out that in the earlier multiplication games we shared, Combo Clash, Ohanami, and Happy City, true player interaction was somewhat limited. However, 
in Station Master, there are opportunities for subtle, take that moves that can jeopardize your opponent's scoring in a big way. So let's talk quickly about the modifications that I made. If you want to play with only positive addition, then make sure to take out the negative valued freight cards. If you take them out, the executive train cars will still give subtraction opportunities since it only carries a positive value when coupled with the correct executive locomotives. If players have yet to learn negative number multiplication, then remove these minus one passenger tokens from the game. If you keep them in, remember that a negative number multiplied by another negative number will give you a positive product. So that adds a bit of intrigue to the trains as well. Another modification is the freight locomotive, which actually converts all the negative freight cars into positive ones, since these freight carriages belong on the freight locomotive. What we also did was to add only two or three more actionable station cards in the following games. And the very last one we added into a player's hand was the depot card. Now this card can force a train to be scored midway through immediately and then continue waiting on passengers added to the depot card up to the train's maximum number. So if multiplication isn't your jam and you'd rather not do it, should you still play Station Master? Don't tell the kids, but there's actually a reference sheet in the rule book that you can always use during the game. But even better than that is the scoring app on the iOS and Android. And it does all the hard brain work for you if you're being lazy or players can use that to check if they got their multiplication correct. If you want to learn other games that will help your kids enjoy multiplication. Make sure to check out the videos on Ohanami, Happy City, or Combo Clash, or Multi. Those are in the links below or at the end of this video. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe. I hope you get a chance to play this game and I will see you in the next one. Next.